Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the easiest way to turn any photo and uh, audio file, whether that be like a song or a podcast, how to make those into a video. So you've got a static photo and then you've got audio, but you want to put it up on YouTube or something, and this is the easiest way to make that into a video. And so uh, I'm using Camera Bag Pro here, and I've got a photo loaded, this can be any photo, and what all you have to do is go to the file menu and then choose create video using audio file and it will give you this prompt choose the audio or video file you'd like to use for the final videos audio track you hit continue and then um, i've got this song file here and you just uh, select that and then choose where you want to save it to and you choose that you can change the output dimensions here and it will keep that uh, the aspect ratio preserved. Um, there's some different quality settings for the compression, um, different output formats, and then you just hit save, and then you choose the place that you want to save it. I want to save this as my video, and it will start processing, and it goes really quickly. And then um, I've got my Thing titled my video here let me resize it so it fits in here and I can play it and you'll hear a little bit of this song that I put to it so that's that's the quick rundown of that now because we're in camera bag there's a lot of things that we can do uh, to make this workflow uh, more powerful and more useful for when you're doing it on multiple videos so for one thing um, whether you're doing a podcast or a song or something, you'll often want to add text to it. So Camera Bag has this nice text overlay feature, and I can choose the text here like my awesome song. And I hit OK, and I can you know change the font of course and the size of it. And um, these advanced controls let you do things like uh, set the if you want a a shadow behind the text and the radius for it and stuff like that. But anyway, I can make this, um, I can do things like uh, add a watermark. If I've got like a podcast or a band logo or something. Um, if you want more precise positioning rather than just putting this in the corner using these offset tools, you can actually use the, um, in the photographic section, you can use the composite image and then you can just drag this around wherever you want. But it's handy with a watermark because um, like if I arrow to a different image, for example, the watermark will always stay pinned to whichever corner I've chosen, like the lower right or the lower left, etc. And so uh, when you use the watermark, it works better across multiple images. So um, another thing that you may well want to, uh, to do with this is set a very specific output size. Um, to automatically crop your image. So if I use the exact size modification and use like 1920 by 1080, which is your standard 1080p size, then this has, um, if I go into crop, you can see it's automatically cropped off part of the top and the bottom of this, and I can move it around by cropping in here. But when I've got all these things as um, adjustments here, I can save that as my own custom preset. So if I uh, hit like shift plus and I call this, you know, podcast video preset, then, um, I can load it up on whatever image I've got, um, across different sessions and it will have the title, which I can then just go in and, you know, change my awesome other song. Hit okay. And, um, and like I say, I'm just arrowing through the images in this directory here using my left and right keys. But you can see how this will then automatically size it and add the text and, um, and the watermark and everything. And then you just do that same process like create video using audio file, choose the audio file. And oh, actually, let me just show one more thing, um, which is that. Uh, there are lots of other um, of camera bags filters that you may want to add to this. So I can pin all these adjustments and then I can hit the P button on my keyboard and just go through my different filters and 
uh, my different filter presets and just choose like, you know, one of hundreds literally of filters, we could do something very intense like this uh, red scale filter. And you'll notice like it's colored the text because the text is, uh, is in the tray before those coloring nodes, but I can drag this over here and then the text will be white. Um, I can adjust any of these things if I feel like the coloring is too ten intense or whatever, or the, the tone curve adjustment isn't too intense. I can adjust those, but it's basically, I can, you know, layer these adjustments on top of anything. And then I can do my, go to the file menu, create video using audio file. Uh, let's write over the previous video and it's already sized in 1920 by 1080. And let's put that at uh, quality 80. And these actually make very, very small video files um, just because it's the same image for every frame. But um, so it, it ends up not being hardly any larger uh, storage wise than just an audio file. But now you can see I've got my awesome song and the video is um, uses that preset that I've applied. And again, this is great for podcasts. It's great for music if you're in a band or whatever. Um, there's a million different reasons. Um, or, you know, there are things that you want to post on Instagram or something where you want a video with some audio track behind your photo. Um, this is great for all of those. And just basically a one-click solution, but with tons of um, options and power that you can do using these different uh, camera bag adjustments. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks.